Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick first impressions with the new Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Multi-Use Bronzing and Shaping Serum. And I've got a couple other liquid bronzers that I'm going to be comparing this with today. I picked mine up in the shade Fair. I did already swatch this at one point and it seemed really light, even for me. This thing is $36 and you get one ounce of product in here. It does have the squeeze pump here, but it also opens up and it has a doe foot applicator. I don't foresee myself ever using the doe foot applicator. One, I don't like touching my face as much as possible. I, I make exceptions here and there, but if I have the option of not touching my face, I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to use the applicator, the squeeze pump, excuse me. I'm going to swatch a little bit here on my hand first. This is actually, just so you know, a luminous formula. I know that because I already swatched it, but also because you can kind of see the reflect through here very, very, very fine through the bottle. My complaint is that it's very cheap packaging. I, I wish it were just a little more luxe for being $36. The formula isn't too runny. I am gonna compare this to my Armani Luminous Silk and I do have the Chantecaille I'm gonna compare it to. So for swatching it, let me see if I can get. This is a heavy swatch of the formula. Oops, I'm getting it all over myself. Let me see if I can blend it out down here. And this is the shade Fair swatched out. Like I said, it's fair even for me. Like even my skin tone is really fair, which I think is gonna work absolutely beautifully. You can see how luminous it is on the back of my hand here. It's not a matte formula at all. And when I swatched it out the other day, even though it feels a little bit thick, it's not as thin as I would like for it to be. It dries down, but it definitely needed a little bit of time it's not tacky by any means, but you can kind of feel the dewiness of it. It did dry down in a nice time frame. I'm going to use Danessa Myrick's My Six brush and pick it up here on the back of my hand. I did forget to mention there is a 12 month shelf life to this product. This is my first time using it, so it's still a first impressions for me. And like I said, it is very sheer and luminous. I did not set my face. I only set my under eyes. But it is a beautiful luminous finish. I don't see any shimmer particles, so if you were worried about shimmer particles, I don't see that whatsoever. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just kind of work it into my brush here. I'm gonna do a bit heavier than I normally would, just so you can really see the shade, the undertone. This one I think is more cool leaning, which is absolutely perfect for me. And I'm wearing it on top of the Fenty Beauty soft, what is it, soft lit foundation, which I feel like just complements the entire look instead of a more matte foundation. It is really easy to use, really easy to apply. I, I am not having any difficulty with this whatsoever. I feel like it's blending in really nicely, actually. It's so natural looking when it's blended in. And the thing that I like about this shade in particular is it's perfect for my undertone and my skin tone in general. So you aren't really gonna see much of a, a sharp line from where it's blended in. I'm gonna pick up one more pump and just kind of build it up a little bit more. I feel like this brush in particular is absolutely perfect for this formula. So even though I'm trying to build it up, it's not getting so dark that it looks unnatural. And I say that with air quotes because like, I mean, makeup is unnatural, let's be honest. But it's blending in so naturally and beautifully, even built up. It's not disturbing my foundation. I'm gonna bring it down my neck a little bit. I don't know how well it'll perform over powder. I will try that one day, but not today. It it just kind of like melted in so lovely. The luminous and like glowy 
tone of it suits this foundation perfectly. And I kind of feel like even with the foundation, it just kind of like amped it up a little bit more. It's very dewy looking, but not shimmery, if that makes any sense at all. Hopefully it's coming across that way. There's no shimmer that I can see. Hopefully it wears well. I am gonna compare it to three other liquid bronzers. This first one is the Armani A Contour. I don't know if you guys remember this or not. This is more of a contour. I have mine in the shade 20. This thing is discontinued. You can't get this anymore. My son is crying, I'm so sorry. But what I loved about this is how beautifully it blended into my skin. It's very cool toned. And the formula dries down really quickly. It's sheer, it's not luminous, it's definitely quite a bit more matte, at least in comparison to the Mario. A gorgeous formula, I'm really sad that they discontinued this one, but if you have it, I would say this is definitely quite a bit cooler, but honestly very similar in formula, a little bit more matte. The next one I wanna compare it to is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Liquid Bronzer. This one is definitely quite a bit more luminous but it, it's more warm toned. Well, actually, yeah, like neutral warm toned. It doesn't have shimmer. Ugh, it's difficult to use because it doesn't have like a pump to it or a doe foot. It's quite a bit more runny. It's not shimmery by any means. It travels quite a bit further. I would say you definitely need less of this product than you do the other two. This will last you forever. It's really luminous, like I said, no shimmer. It's thinner in formula than the Makeup by Mario, but it's quite a bit more opaque, and you can probably tell just from the swatch alone. And this is in the shade 90. I got mine from Nordstrom. You cannot get this from Sephora. The next one I have is the Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer. I don't use this one as much just because it just doesn't work too much with my, my skin tone. It's quite a bit warmer. It's not as luminous. It's a little bit more matte than the other than the other bronzer here, but it just doesn't work for my skin tone. It doesn't sheer out as much as I would like for it to. And you can kind of tell from here, like this won't suit me at all right now. And it only comes in the one shade, which is unfortunate because these two formulas are so similar and they both blend out so beautifully, far more opaque. So. I can't use this until summertime anyway, and even then I have to really be careful and share it out and use a sponge. And then one more time for good measure, just for swatch comparisons. Let me see if I can do it this way. And this one is Mario. In terms of undertone, coolest, cool neutral, this is fair. This is 90. I think it's 90. Yeah. So these two are probably the, the most similar. The Armani A Contour with the Makeup by Mario. And then I have the Luminous Silk Liquid Bronzer. Far more opaque. Just as luminous. Much more neutral. And then the Chantecaille, which is quite a bit more matte. Warm undertone. Price-wise, the Chantecaille and the Armani are far more pricey. I do have the Say Liquid Bronzer coming. I did pick that one up. I wanna compare it to this one, but also because I kind of feel like I'm in that liquid bronzer era as well. Watch everybody start launching liquid bronzers this year. It's gonna be the year of liquid bronzers, I guarantee it. We're already seeing it with the blushes. Bronzers are coming. I know there's a few other liquid bronzers that you can currently get from Sephora. I just, I'm not interested in them. I think Kelly Ray did one, but I cannot remember the other ones. I'm waiting for more of the mainstream brands. I watch Pat McGrath. I guarantee you at some point she will. I want to go ahead and set this with my Anna Sui water powder in the shade 200. This is a lavender. I got this off of Beautylish. It has a strong scent to it. I'm gonna buff everything out. I'm not gonna use a powder bronzer or blush today. I am gonna use a powder highlight, but I just wanna see how this wears today without all this extra stuff on top, just to kind of get a feel for this Makeup by Mario liquid bronzer. I'm gonna pick it up on a Fantasy Cosmetica number four brush. This has an amazing cooling sensation to it. Very much like the Becca powder and the Woma powder, which, oh, 
it was absolutely atrocious when I used it because it was already ruined. I really think you have to be careful with these powders. I think they go bad faster than others. It definitely has a luminous finish to it. So I like that so far because I'm a big fan of luminous powders and it's not really diminishing the look of my foundation, that liquid bronzer and my cream blush. I'm a big fan so far. The scent is just a little too strong for me, but I don't mind it. I think this is probably one of the more beautiful powders that I have just taken a gamble on. I love the fact that it's lavender. I finished this look off with the NYX lip liner in the shade Mauve in my Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in the shade 0600. This is still currently available at several retailers. Perfect mauve shade and a gorgeous formula. As a quick recap, I do wanna mention this is a gorgeous luminous finish. I absolutely adored being able to use this today. I didn't have any problems with it. I know I mentioned during the video that this blended out so smoothly. It is wearing amazing. I did powder on top of it. I think this formula is stunning. In fact, it's probably more forgiving than the Armani and the Chantecaille formulas, more so because it's luminous and sheer. I think being more opaque makes it a little bit more tricky to work with and you have to be a little bit more careful. But because this is quite sheer and lightweight, you can overdo it and it won't look overdone. And I didn't have any problems making it look natural and blended in even applying as much as I did. There is no scent to this. It just has a normal makeup scent to it. Like I said, you can use the doe foot applicator if you want to. It's not really my vibe to do so. I don't own anything else from Makeup by Mario. I did get something, I think it was the, the sculpt, the, the one in the compact from Sephora as a gift a couple years back. I never got to use it because it was too dark for me. So I don't know how that fares in comparison with this one. However, with this one being as fair skinned as I am, this shade is absolutely perfect. I think it would absolutely be wonderful for a no makeup makeup look if you were just to do like a skin tint, a little bit of this and a cream blush, chef's kiss. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Otherwise though, I love this. For my first makeup by Mario purchase, this one's a winner, absolutely solid. I just wish it was in a glass bottle, that's it. Hopefully these comparisons were helpful to you. Price-wise, I think this is an absolutely wonderful price in comparison to the other bronzers that I compared it to. You guys know the drill. Everything on my face is linked down below. If you use those links to make a purchase, thank you so much for clicking on them. I appreciate you. You are supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.